Hi, I'm Angelica from FTC Team 15772 Brady Goats. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program a motor for autonomous using time in blocks programming. So first you want to create a new op mode and name it something meaningful. So I named mine auto underscore motor underscore time. So then once you name your op mode, you can press OK. So once you're in the blocks programming environment, you can exit out of anything that you feel like you need to. So I will exit out of these two pieces. After that, this since this is an autonomous code, at the top next to your op mode name, there should be a drop down that says teleop. So you should change that to autonomous because once you get to the phone, you want to make sure that's on the autonomous side and that the timer is automatically enabled. So next in the um, blocks programming setup that they initially give you, there's a repeat, repeat while do block. So you can go ahead and delete that. So autonomous, since everything only runs once, you'll be putting the, your main code in this if do part besides the initialization, which will be before that. We can always have loops during your autonomous, but for now we can get rid of that. So the first thing that you want to do to get the motor to actually run is to go to actuators on the left and then DC motor. And then you can see the set power motor power to one. So you can drag and drop that after put run blocks here. So from that, you'll be able to change the power to the motor speed that you'd want. So for now, I'll do it at 0.5. So you can do anywhere from negative one to one. So that's the um, fully full speed backwards or forwards, or you can have zero, which is off. After that, you want to go to linear op mode here at the left and then go to call then the name dot sleep and it'll be in milliseconds for your time. So what this will do is it will be running the motor for at half speed, but then it'll do this for one second. So that's why there's this milliseconds here. So if anything that you want to be running for that certain amount of time, you can put it before the time. And then after that, you can turn off your motor. So set motor power to zero and put that after the time. So after the, this part of the code has run for one second, you can turn off the motor. And from there, you can add any other parts of your autonomous code that you'd like. I hope you enjoyed learning about programming a motor for autonomous using time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program a motor for autonomous using the run to position encoder mode in blocks programming. So first you want to create a new program and name it something meaningful. So I named mine auto underscore motor underscore RT, RTP for run to position and then press OK. So now if you have anything like you like to X out of like I do, you can go ahead and do that. Since this is an autonomous program, you'll want to also, next to your op mode name, go to the drop down that says teleop on it, and then change that to autonomous. So it shows up as an autonomous program on your phone when you go to select the program. Also, since this is autonomous code, you can also delete the repeat while do block, because since it's autonomous, it is only going in like one loop instead of going back into the loop multiple times. So the first step is that if you need to reverse your motor like I do, then you can go to actuators, DC motor, and reverse your motor. So you can put that after the put run blocks here. After that, you can also set the first mode. So where it says set motor dot mode to run without encoder, you can drag that block underneath the direction block. So the first step when you're going to be running a motor with the encoder is you want to reset the encoder. So you can go to run without encoder, that drop down, and then go to stop and reset encoder to make sure that there's no other values on there that used to be there from like another program or just previously in that same program. 
After that, you can go back to actuators and DC motor, and you can get a target position block. So the set motor dot target, target position to zero and drag that after the stop and reset encoder. So that'll be the number of ticks that you want your motor to run to. So you'll have to do different calculations to figure out how many ticks equals one rotation or however many inches you want the robot to move. So for now, I will do for my motor 280 ticks, which will be one full rotation. After that, you can go back to DC motor. So go to set motor mode again and drag that out underneath the set target position. So in that dropdown, you want to change that to run to position. So that'll have the motor go to that exact position. And if it goes over a bit too much because maybe you're going very fast and it just missed that exact value, then it might actually go backwards. So you'll have to check for that and see, make sure this is the best for your robot. After that, you can go back to DC motor and get the power block, so the set motor power to whatever number, and drag that after the run to position. So I'm going to change the value to 0 0.25, so one fourth speed, but you can always change the power however you need it to be. So next, you want to go to loops and get a repeat while block and drag that under the set motor power to. 0.25. So basically, you'll be running this, pro this section of code until it, um, the motor hits the target position. So you'll be setting this repeat while to actually repeat until. And then from there, you can go to logic and get a not block and put that after repeat until. So repeat until it's not something. So that not would be in DC motor and this call motor dot is busy. So again, that'll run everything above it until the motor hits this target position here. So inside of this block, you can put anything in parallel. So maybe you want some servos running or something, but for now we can do telemetry to see the motor power to make sure it's around 0.25. So you can go to utilities and go to telemetry from there, we can get a telemetry add data with key and number and put that into that repeat until do block. So for key, if we want to figure out the motor power, we can put motor power. And then the number would be back in DC motor. And it would be this motor power, but not the set one. So it's the one that you're able to get the motor power. And that goes into number. So now, when you would run this, you would think that you can see the motor power, but you won't be able to until you get the telemetry update block. So this call telemetry dot update and put that underneath the call telemetry add data. So as it's running the motor into this target position, you'll be able to now constantly see the motor power because it's in this repeat until block. After your motor gets to that target position, you would want to turn off the motor. So you can go back to DC motor, go to set motor power to zero, and put that after the repeat until do block. I hope you enjoyed learning about programming a motor for autonomous using run to position. To find out more about our team, please visit the links in the video description. Thank you for watching.